Maricopa County Sheriff's Office is facing a difficult financial future. All programs are under scrutiny, including one high-profile facility that was a point of pride for former Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Report, reporter Veronica Acosta sat down with a successor to find out what's next for Tent City. A racial profiling suit is costing the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office tens of millions of dollars. So newly elected Sheriff Poppendone is looking for ways to be more fiscally efficient. One option on the table, closing Tent City. Tent City, a source of pride for former Sheriff Joe Arpaio, a spectacle to some, a social injustice to others. It really blew my mind that this is, this is how we're handling these people that need help in our culture and in our society. But the facility's future under new Sheriff Poppinzone is unclear. Some who've spent time inside the tents in extreme heat or bitter cold have a good idea of what they think should happen next. It has to go. The aging men and women's facilities are tucked away along a sprawling stretch of county property along Durango Street. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office operates multiple jails across Maricopa County, some more than half empty. Closing one of these jails makes sense to some, and they want to start with Tent City. I don't believe there was ever need for Tent City. County Supervisor Steve Gallardo says the financial argument to close at least one jail is compelling. The Sheriff's Office must come up with $8 million in cost savings this year. Meanwhile, multiple jails have high vacancy rates. I believe the 10 cities should be uh, taken away. I believe we should eliminate them. We have uh, jail cells that are empty that these inmates can be placed in. So Cronkite News took the question to newly elected Sheriff Paul Penzone. Uh, there's been a lot of concern over the past several years with it regarding treatment, regarding the true need for it because of the, the population across all of our detention centers. So Sheriff Penzone forms Spear a group of community members that will review Tent City within the next couple of weeks, and his expectations are clear. If I'm going to continue to keep it open, I need to know it's for the right reasons. As for Blue Pony, she's unsure of Tent City's future, but she's glad she's no longer there to have to live through it. While the occupancy rate, including all Maricopa County jails, sits at about 70 percent, officials tell us closing Tent City would also mean finding an appropriate place for the nonviolent offenders who are housed there. The Spear Committee is expected to give its recommendation in early April. In the Broadcast Center, Veronica Acosta, Cronkite News.